Good morning all. Uh, yesterday I made a video on a clock circuit using a 555 timer which I'm going to use for my 8-bit uh, breadboard computer. Now the clock circuit can either free run or it can single step using a micro switch and I thought it might be quite fun to take a look inside this micro switch. It is very tiny. Um, I've got 10 of these I think. Here's a spare one. But it's got these little um, tabs so I think this should come apart fairly easily. Just take a look inside and uh, see how it works. Uh, so this micro switch um, is very breadboard friendly. It's got uh, these pins spaced exactly two tenths of an inch apart. I have problems with focus here aren't I? Um, but they've got uh, a shape. I'll try and get in a bit closer actually. Yeah they're shaped with a little bit of sort of necking there and uh, that means that it fits into the breadboard contacts almost with a click lock. So it does work very well in breadboard. I'll just flip that over now. Oh, the brand is Tia Ihua. Uh, on the other side, it's marked 1 amp, 125 volts AC. There's a common pin at the back here. There's a normally open pin and there's a normally, uh, normally closed pin at this end. So let's uh, just lift that tab and see if we can get the uh, thing apart. Right, let me see if I can get my knife in under there and lift that up. Yep, yeah, that's worked. Now I need to flip it over and try and get my knife under that side. And there it is. So the lever here is hinged at the end. That pushes down on this little red plastic plunger which I've held in with um, a bit of blue tack there. If I take that off the red plastic plunger comes out. So that plastic plunger will push down when you push the lever down. Let's see what that plunger does on the actual switch mechanism. Right, so very difficult to not knock my camera when I'm doing this because I've got about two inches between me and the camera. Uh, so you can see the two contacts. Um, this contact presumably comes up and goes to over the top of the moving contact. There's the moving contact. I can move it with my screwdriver and if I push it down I can make it come away from the top contact and touch the bottom contact which presumably goes to that middle pin. Now of course this switch uh, has to be break before make because it has to break from the top contact before it makes on the bottom one so there's no way this arrangement can be make before break. Um, when you push it down at this end it just springs straight back. It doesn't seem to have that over center latching type effect. Um, but if you push it down at this end, in fact on that flat running across, and that's where the little red plastic thing pushes down, then we can see what happens. It bends for a while and then it flips. And you can hear the little click there. So it's got an over center mechanism. You have to push a fair way before anything happens but when it does it rapidly clicks from one position to the other and that spring the little curved bent piece of metal there ensures that it flips from one side to the other now there's a bit of hysteresis here so that if you press down on it it takes a while to flip once it has flipped you can let go a little bit and nothing happens if you let go a lot and it flips the other way. So there's hysteresis in there as well as this over center mechanism. Now the time that it takes to flip from one contact to the other is relatively fixed. It doesn't matter whether I press that quickly or press it gradually and slowly because it's the point at which it flips over center that the little connecting contact that's on this common pin, this, this whole assembly on this side is common which will be this back pin here moves from one of the connections to the other from the normally closed that's normally closed because this is the normal relaxed position so it's closed onto this contact uh, the one down the bottom there is normally open and they reverse when you press the switch now I have to say this does look like a very cheap micro switch normally you'd expect to see um, a sort of domed uh, thing in here with plating on it. I don't know what the metal plating is, but this just seems to have 
well I assume that's uh, brass or copper doesn't seem to have any oh actually no there is some sort of insert there I'd have to get very close to see that but there doesn't seem to be any sort of plating on this top contact or bottom contact but the, yes there may be an insert on this uh, copper or brass probably not copper because I'm not sure copper is very springy but uh, we'll have a try and have a closer look at that contact to see what it looks like right my magnifying glass held in a helping hands uh, so I'm on basic macro mode here and you can just see that there's something embedded in that spring contact and the idea of that is that it's coated in such a way that any sparks that occur when contact is made either with the top contact or with that bottom contact uh, don't cause any significant erosion of the metal so I don't know what metal that is interestingly the Wikipedia article on microswitches is very basic, doesn't tell you much at all. It go, it's mostly about this over center mechanism. Doesn't talk about what these contacts might be made of or plated with. But yeah, there's something there embedded into the metalwork of the springy common contact, presumably to uh, give it its 125 volt AC rating, which will or could create sparks on those contacts. Anyway, that is how the micro switch works. Anyway, I thought it might be quite fun to see how uh, this thing works. Now I've got to reassemble it, so I need to put that red plastic thing. I haven't got any 3D vision when I'm looking at the camera. So I'm gonna do it looking at the actual object. Yeah, that's gone back in that little hole. It won't go back in because I'm putting some pressure on the uh, lever. So it's forcing it up. Right, that's okay, that's in there. Now, that red thing has to go on the side of the mechanism which doesn't have the contacts. So it's that way around. Put that in there. And clip it in place. Now, is that working? Yeah, I think that's fine. 